In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Suppose 0.1% of all people in a town have TB. A TB test is available, but it is not completely accurate. If a person has TB, the test will indicate it with probability 0.999. If the person does not have TB, the test will indicate that he does with probability 0.002. For a randomly selected individual, the test shows that he has TB. What is the probability that this person actually has TB? And these are the options that are given to us. First of all, let's define some events over here. So let's say event A is the test is positive. That means according to the test, the person has TB. So event A is the event that the test is positive. Event B is the event that the person has TB and event B complement is the event that the person does not have TB. So event B complement is the event that the person does not have TB. Now let's take a look at the information that's given to us in the question. It's written that 0.1% of all people in a town have TB. This implies that probability of B is equal to 0.1, right? Well, this is wrong. And this is a classic mistake that many students do in the exam. It's written over here that 0.1% of all people in a town have TB. This implies that probability of B is not 0.1, it is 0.001. So this is the right probability and this is what you have to work with. Let's see what other information is given to us. If a person has TB, the test will indicate it with probability 0.999. This implies that the probability that the test is positive given that a person has TB is equal to 0.999. And we are given if a person does not have TB, the test will indicate that he does with probability 0.002. This is the probability that the test is positive given that the person does not have TB. So this is the probability A given B complement and this is equal to 0.002. For a randomly selected individual, the test shows that he has TB. What is the probability that this person actually has TB? This is the probability that we have to find. So we have to find the probability of B given A. Okay. Now that we have written all the information over here, this question is quite straightforward. All you have to do is use the Bayes rule. So we can write that the probability of B given A using the Bayes rule is equal to probability of A given B multiplied with probability of B divided by probability of A given B multiplied with probability of B plus probability of A given B complement multiplied with probability of B complement. Now we are given probability of A given B in the question. It is this. We know probability of B. It is this. And these two expressions are the same as the numerator. We are also given the probability of A given B complement. It is written over here. And we are also given the probability of B complement. It says that you have to do one step to find it. If probability of B is equal to 0.001, then probability of B complement will be equal to 1 minus 0.001. And this is equal to 0.999. So probability of B complement is 0.999. That means now we have all the information that we need to solve this question. So let's just put these values. So probability of B given A is equal to 0.999, that's this probability, multiplied with 0.001, divided by 0.999, multiplied with 0.001, plus 0.002, that is this probability, multiplied with 0.999, this is this probability. Okay, and now if you solve this, you will get that probability of B given A is equal to 0 
That means the right answer is part C. It's written 1 over 3 over here, but 1 over 3 is nothing but 0 0.3333. So the right answer is part C and that's it for this question.